Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to highlight some of the different tips and tricks around supercharging, how to find superchargers. This video is excellent for those folks who just received their Tesla and they feel like they don't really know what's going on. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of things on your screen and what to look for. So in your control screen, um, you'll see your vehicle and the map. To pull up the charging stations, you have an icon right here. And also if you tap uh, on the search, you'll also have a charging icon right here. So let's go ahead and click on this icon. It pulls up a list. Now this icon uh, with the one with the single bolt is for chargers that are more for overnight these can typically be found at hotels or venues where you're likely to stay for an extended period of time so let me uncheck these um, if you look at this list we have uh, mostly hotels these chargers are not superchargers they are Tesla destination chargers now these charges, it will take you maybe six to eight hours to get a decent charge to even go anywhere. Uh, the charge rate is listed right here under the location. So this location is 13 kilowatts. Um, do not go to these chargers if you're expecting to charge uh, quickly and be on your way. Um, if you go to one of these chargers, you need to be expecting to stay for a couple of hours. So let's go on to the next uh, level which is two lightning bolts and I'm going to uncheck this so those locations disappear uh, One quick note is these locations are gray and when I uncheck them all the grays are gone now. We're looking at um, these red uh, Locations and they are second generation Tesla chargers uh, Sorry first generation Tesla chargers their speed is 72 kilowatts these are superchargers. Um, you can definitely get a quick charge and be on your way. Um, and we also have a gray location here, which is an EVgo station. It's a quick charging location comparable to a supercharger, but it is handled by a third party. Now let's, okay, hold on. Let's go ahead. Okay, let me get a little closer. Okay, sorry about that. It was a little bit zoomed out, but yeah, so with the two lightning bolts, you can see that we have all these superchargers and their speed underneath. And this location here is a third party EVgo station. Now we'll, un we'll go to the three lightning bolts and these are the newest and latest superchargers. Uh, these have some of the fastest speeds, Gen 2, and Gen 3 chargers. This one right here, the first one in Casa Grande, has 150 kilowatt charging capability. This is a Gen 2 charger. And if you look down here, in Buckeye, Arizona, we have 250 kilowatt charging capability. That is a Gen 3 charger. Um, these are super, super quick. Uh, in five to 10 minutes, you would get a decent enough charge to continue your trip um, whereas the first generation superchargers with 72 kilowatts um, you need to plan to be there for 30 to 45 minutes now um, you can use the maps to navigate to the superchargers uh, manually or you can plan your route and you, it will plug in the charging destinations automatically. So let's go ahead and navigate to uh, Disneyland in SoCal. So Disneyland, Anaheim, 364 miles from where I live in Arizona. It's thinking, it's populating the trip and it has planned, since I have 61%, um, it has planned three charging stops for me now if I start off with a hundred then it would have probably planned only one or two charging stops 
So if I scroll through here, um, it has me charging the first stop in Buckeye. And this battery indicator here is the amount I'm expected to reach this station with. So I'm gonna arrive at this station with this amount here, 31% and it expects me to charge for 15 minutes to continue the trip. I should arrive at the next charging station with 20% and it wants me to stay for 30 minutes at that location. Um, now pay close attention to this stop right here because it is saying I should arrive with 13%. Now this is a problem because this is an estimate and you could definitely be in trouble if you run it too low if conditions on the road change or if you're using a lot more air conditioning or if there's more uh, spirited driving um, then you may not reach this charger um, so what I like to see just for my comfort I like to see that I'm arriving at each station with at least 20% that's kind of the buffer I give myself. So this says 13%. So in order to make that um, arrive with 20%, I would stay a little longer in quartzite, um, a little longer than the 30 minutes and get a little bit of a higher charge. That way I can reach here with at least 20%. That's just the buffer I like to give myself. If you like living life on the edge, <laughs> go ahead you know, and stick to this. But in my opinion, this hasn't been uh, that accurate. It's always a little bit off, a few percent off. You also run the risk of a um, like unexpected traffic on the way or road conditions could change. So you do want to have that extra uh, percentage on there. Um, so definitely want to arrive with 20%. 13 is not enough if you're on a long road trip. If you're somewhere in Southern California where there's superchargers everywhere, then you might not care about this. Um, but here in Arizona, we don't we don't really have much. And if you're going out of town, you want to make sure that you have enough. Um, I know a few folks that have got stranded. Um, one got stranded on the way to Las Vegas from Phoenix. Um, he just tried to push it, and if you run that route, you know that the superchargers are very few. So definitely get enough charge. Um, okay, that being said, I would arrive here at Disneyland with 24%. That should be okay. Um, and I've arrived at my destination. I could charge overnight um, with my own charging solution or go to a supercharger in the morning. Now, um, I it's definitely helpful that it plugs in all the charging stops for you. You can remove uh, if you're an advanced user, you can remove the charging stops um, and add your own. So uh, you can edit the trip here, add your own stops. Um, you might want to do that if you know that there's a better charger in a certain location. I don't like to mess with it too much. Um, I trust the system. I just make small, minor modifications. So yeah, it's pretty neat that it calculates the supercharging stops for you, but it's definitely good to be aware of that information and how to bring up that menu, how to bring up the charging locations um, if you need to look those up. Um, but yeah, that being said, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. See you next time.